Hey, welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to go over a few things. I made a couple of notes, so if you see me reading, it's because I, I did some investigating and some research, and I think it's important for everybody to know, especially it helps me out. This is why I do these things. Uh, it's about types of addiction and how it affects your sobriety and recovery. Uh, and right, I'm going to get right to it. There's uh, uh, different types of addiction. Uh, the first one is uh, substance addiction, addiction, uh, which is alcohol, tobacco, opiates like heroin, prescription drugs or sleeping pills and tranquilizers, the sedatives, the hypnotics. Uh, they also uh, include, um, how do you call it, cocaine, cannabis, Amphetamines like uh, metamphetamines, also known as meth, hallucinogens, inhalants, uh, PCP or angel dust, which is uh, fencyclidine, uh, and also uh, the other type of addiction is uh, a list of uh, controlled control disorders okay now everything that I'm reading to you uh, I got it from a website which I'll, I'll give to you at the end of uh, the uh, presentation that I'm giving right now and you'll be able to research it for yourself and see there's a lot of information that I didn't know even though I've been a nurse you know there's a lot I've taken my classes uh, for counseling uh, I have numerous certificates and for addiction and stuff like that, but they sometimes don't go in depth to it. And I've read up on this, so you could follow up uh, if you like or you hear something. Uh, get some help if it affects you. If it feels like it's resonating in you, uh, get help. Get some professional help. Uh, speak to your doctor. Uh, whatever it takes. But these are the list of uh, impulse control disorders, like, uh, for example, intermittent explosive disorders, which is compulsive, aggressive, and assaultive acts. Okay, all of these, uh, I can remember, and I still have uh, problems with, and I have to always keep it on check. That's why it's so hard for sobriety but you take one step at a time. You don't have to uh, take all of them all at the same time and figure that I'm gonna change my whole attitude in one day. It didn't take you that long. It took you a while to become an addict. So these are learned traits sometimes. Sometimes it's mental health issues, uh, but all of this have one thing in common. If it affects you and uh, it affects others, and your life becomes unmanageable, that's a problem. So go back to the uh, uh, compulsive, uh, it, they have cons compulsive stealing, uh, compulsive setting fires, gambling. Yeah, I, I could tell you, if I wasn't drinking, I was gambling, or if I was in gambling, I was drinking, and then I was smoking. A lot of this are socially acceptable, but people can do it because it's, um, they have a limit and they know when to stop. Other people get caught up in their, uh, how do you call it? There's endorphins that go into your mind that give you a, a natural high and you want to keep it up and you want to, like gambling, you know, if you win 500 bucks, you say, oh yeah, all right, I think I could win the jackpot and you keep going and then you feel depressed after that's your coming down your endorphins are coming down and and you want to continue continue and you wind yourself in a, a circle that you say well i got to catch up to the 500 that i lost well i'll go back tomorrow you start spending your rent money you start uh stealing and it leads one to the other okay so this is just uh touching bases again uh also, uh, behavioral disorders like food, uh, sex, uh, 
using computers, the internet, playing video games, working, uh, you become a workaholic because you want to provide and you're getting the money and you're spending the money and you're getting uh, gratification from these things. And you just keep on doing it, which then messes up a relationship because you're never home. And then either your partner's looking somewhere else for something that they're missing and it spirals out of control. It affects them as much as it affects you. You're just a, a catalyst for a lot of these things. And for myself, I was a catalyst for everything. I ruined relationships, anything. Uh, I replaced it. As a matter of fact, I, I replaced addiction with relationships. You know, I thought uh, since I wasn't drinking, but I had a good relationship. No, I didn't realize that the destructive behavior that I had with alcohol, I was passing it on to my relationship. And that screwed things up for me. So they also say pay, uh, playing video games, working. Uh, they said uh, excessive spiritual obsession. Now, get this. It's different than religious devotion, okay? There's, a, there's a, a, a line in there. When you become obsessive with something and you wanna shove it down somebody's throat and you're ruining your relationship and people are staying away from you, that's a problem, you know? Uh, you can have your belief and everything. That's the religious devotion. If you're praying and you're meditating and you're doing your yoga, and that's fine, but once it takes over your life and that's all you're doing, or you're replacing that with uh, uh, getting high or drinking, or it adds up and your body is totally out of whack. When you don't eat healthy, uh, that helps. I mean, that, that <laughs> it hurts. Um, also pain, pain seeking, because when you feel pain, you go to your doctor and you say, well, I have this pain on my back and everything. Some, some, not all, make it worse than what it is because they know wh whether they want to acknowledge it or not that they're seeking medication to get high. They say, no, but I did it because I had pain in my neck, I had pain in my arm, my back, I can't bend down, you know, uh, whatever excuse you come up with, only you know, not anybody else. Uh, I believe, a as you should for yourself, you're looking at me, you believe what I'm telling you. You don't know. You're believing the words that I'm saying. So does a doctor. If you tell a doctor you have pain and you know how to act it out real well and they believe it, you know, and they say because uh, pain is uh, subjective, not objective, not everybody's pain is the same. So all that comes into play for doctors. So yeah, a lot of people jump from one doctor to another doctor to another doctor because they're getting medicine from one doctor to another doctor. But little do, does anybody know that these doctors have a computer, when they put your name in there, they go through this whole 50 states that tell you that this person has been here because they registered the medication so then they start saying that nah, she's uh or he's uh pain seeking he's getting trying to get meds from every place because one doctor stopped it so they have to go to another doctor they read you know try to read the riot act they didn't want to hear it so they just continue now uh they also have uh cutting you know when you when you get uh some people do it for attention or they just want the pain because they feel that's what they deserve. So they start cutting their wrist and wrist and that's a mental health issue, you know, but it becomes a pattern after a while and you, you need to get some help. Uh, shopping, relationships. Uh, there's a reward and a physical, mental, emotional. These are, uh, getting gratification for something, therefore making life unmanageable. That's what I said before. Uh, they have the definition of the term addiction, <clears throat> excuse me, is described a compulsive act which causes harm to the person and those around them. And over time, the person is no longer has control. Addict may deny there's a problem and just say, 
I'm just having fun. That's what I used to say. Uh, you know, people came up to me, and especially when I was drunk, I didn't run to hear it. Or when I was high, you know, I'm just having a good time. That's all. I'm just having fun. Uh, that's one of their, or one of my favorite uh, sayings. You know, I'm just having fun. You know, or when I used to hurt people's feelings. You know, I'm just kidding around. I'm just having fun with you. You know, but the effect that I was having on other people. I didn't realize it because everything was about me. I was satisfying something. I got a reaction from them that fed my monster. Uh, I hope you understand the way I'm saying it. Addiction is a primary chronic disease of the brain, okay? Uh, reward, motivation, memory, and related circuitries in your brain, your synapses, uh, your endorphins. You're getting some reward out of uh, whether it's the excitement, the, uh, you know, a lot of people are thrill seekers. They, they'll jump from an airplane with a parachute and that satisfies them. Uh, people like uh, a racing. That's what keeps you racing. It's not only that you like the car and you like to see the race, but the adrenaline that causes when you're going 100 something miles an hour, 200 miles an hour, you know, that, that puts you in a zone, like, wow, man, this is, this is awesome. And then you do it again. And then if you're drinking and something happens and you take a curve or a turn and you total up your car, most likely you might survive. But if you hit something or you hit someone, then that's vehicular uh, 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 homicide. So... There's a, a payback for everything. What, what you do, the actions you do, there's a positive and negative on it. Some people can handle some of these things uh, because they do it in moderation. I can't do a damn thing with, uh, in moderation. I take it to the next level. So that's why I don't start. Um, it's uh, reflected in the individual's uh, perceiving reward and or relief by substance use and other behaviors. That, exactly what I was just talking about. Addiction is characterized by impairment in behavioral control, craving, inability, constant, constant abst uh, abstain, and diminished recognition of significant problems with one's behavior and interpersonal relationships. And this is coming from, and you can read it more in detail, they have more information that gets into the root of things and a lot of help for you. It's uh, taken from Health Place, Healthy Place. It's H-E-A-L-T-H-Y-P-L-A-C-E dot com. Again, that's healthyplace.com. Take a look at it. See if it helps for you. Stay one day at a time sober. Stay strong and sober um, because you'll, you'll think better. Uh, when you have, uh, the, the sad part is that everything that I mentioned, we all go through at some degree. So you just cannot be a monk overnight if that's what your goal is. Yeah, well, you strive for that. But you just cannot be perfect all the time. Nothing in this world is perfect when the trees are crooked. There's no straight line because man does it and man's not perfect. Sometimes there's mistakes and they hide it. Uh, the, it it's in life, in everything. So just to let you know, don't kick yourself so much in the ass. Just say, hey, I acknowledge it. Some of that can be true. The rest, let it fly. But seek help if you know. If you start asking these questions to yourself, that's an inclination that you're having a problem and you're trying to control the issue. So seek some help with it. Start with this website. There's other websites out there. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, I'm in my seventh year of sobriety. And the reason why I tell you all this, I had 25 years of sobriety. And I thought I was all cured because uh, I wasn't drinking. But I didn't realize that I replaced my drinking with a relationship. Once my relationship broke up, that was my addiction. And I didn't realize it. I was screwing up the, the relationship all along. When the relationship broke up, I went back to drinking. 
And that's why I have seven years now after having 25 years. The difference is that I made mistakes and I had the tools to work on it. And that's why I'm pursuing and I'm continuing forward. Uh, with the help of you guys, when you comment, I want to thank all my viewers. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like, hit that notification button, comment uh, if you like. Uh, please stay strong and sober one day at a time. Recovery is not easy. Nothing good is easy. You have to plan now for later. It takes one day at a time. Peace.